Hello and welcome to another Django tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and create our first app. And what an app is, is the building blocks of our project. They are, for example, a blog, a form, in our case it's going to be lessons. So an app has a basic functionality and it does normally does one thing. And so for us, since we're building a tutorial website, it's going to maintain our lessons and that's the main purpose of this app. To create an app it's just like creating a project. It's very simple. It's one command and then Django sets up our apps, our app for us. So <clears throat> first off let's take a look at what we currently have in our um, project and we have uh, four files which is init.py, settings.py, urls.py and wsgi.py and then we have the uh, database and the manage.py alright so now we're gonna go ahead and actually create an app and when we create an app in the command line we don't see anything returned to us like hey an app was created or anything like that so just kind of picture this in your head and then when we create the app we'll come back and look at it and see that um, Django actually created an app for us and we'll take a look at what's inside that app alright so go ahead and open up your uh, terminal and I still have my server running so we'll go ahead and stop that with control C I'm gonna clear my screen and we're gonna type python manage.py uh, start app and we're gonna call it lessons alright so it's going to take a moment and then it's going to create us uh, an app. And like I said, it returns nothing to us. It doesn't say, hey, our app was created. But if we go back to where our files are contained and we look inside, here's our LPT, which we were just looking at. And then we got our database and manage.py. Above that is a new directory called lessons. And that's our application itself. In Lessons, there is a directory called Migrations, and this is where our data um, will be migrated to as we create data for our database. So we'll see that in action when we start actually creating some data, um, and it will go in here. It's kind of like a version control for our database. Okay, here's another init.py, which is normally left blank. As you can see, it's blank. Um, there are rare occasions that you would actually use this, but we're not going to look at that right now or discuss that. Admin.py is where we tie in our models, and admin has there's an, a back end to, to Django where we can access an admin page. Now, it's completely up to you if you use the admin um, app, um, but it's suggested uh, if you are going to use the admin, it should only be used by you and maybe a couple uh, employees if you have them, but not used by the public. So the admin is a great feature, and we'll take a look at that some more. Uh, we will actually use it for Learn Python tutorial. Um, the apps.py file. Now this is a file for uh, if we're going to share our apps. Um, it gives us some settings. Uh, we can also name our app something different in here. Um, so there's a couple features that we may use along the line in here. Uh, models.py, this is a structure to our database. Uh, this is where we actually sh build our database and how it's going to be structured and how it's going to function. So we're going to look at this very shortly and you've become very comfortable with this because we will use it quite often. Um, test test.py is where we can create test and uh, it allows us to run tests on our application. We'll look at this down the road. <clears throat> and then views.py. This is uh, this file handles the HTTP uh, request and response. If you're familiar with how the internet works, when you uh, load a, a web page, you send a request and then the server sends a response. So this is how we do it with views.py, um, how we handle what's going to be sent back to the client side, which would be, say, you went to our website, you're requesting information from the database, and then um, 
the database is going to use the response in views.py and send it back to you as the user. So that is the basic layout of the apps in Django. If you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website, learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and don't forget to share it. We will see you in the next one where we discuss the settings.py file. Have a nice day.